We are going to see right now corner detection. Corner detection is used to usually for object recognition, for 3D modeling, or to object motion tracking. And there are many methods in OpenCV. Some is faster, some is slower. So for it depends what's the purpose of your corner detection you are going to you need different method today we're going to see just a really simple one and first let's describe what a corner is corner we can describe it like the intersection of the edges so for example here we have an edge another edge here they are intersecting in this point in this point we have the corner and so as well for the other drawing so here we have another corner here inside the square we have four corners and so on on the other one we're going to see first so some really simple corner detection on an image and then we are going to use the same algorithm for corner detection on the video in real time with the camera so let's start we start importing cv2 so import cv2 import numpy as np then we load the image cv2.imread squares.jpg and you can download this image from the link in the description then let's show the image cv2.im show emg and emg cv2 dot weight key zero cv2 dot destroy all windows okay here we have the image where we want to detect our corners first to use the function we need to convert the image to grayscale format so let's do that we have gray equals to cv2.cvt color emg and cv2.color underscore bgr to gray from the gray scale image we can detect the corners so we have corners it's equals to cv2.good fit to track we want to track the corners on the grayscale image so gray the maximum number of the corners for the moment let's say 100 and the quality level so this is quality it's a value which goes from 0 to 1 and the higher is the number the higher must be the, the quality of the corner to be detected so we can start from a really low quality corner so let's say 0 0.01 it depends on the image that we we've got and we, we can adjust the number later on and then minimum distance is the distance between each corner let's say at least 10 it should be 10 pixels and so let's print the result corners Corn okay and this this is the position of each corner so you see we have like 151 233 so this is x and y we need to do something else to uh, to eliminate this point after each number so we have this function of numpy so corners it's equals to np dot int zero of corners so let's run the code again and you see we eliminated the point and we have only integers 
So now that we have this x and y number of each corner, we can draw a circle in each position. So we can do something like this for corner in corners it's x and y it's equals to corner dot ravel so this is another function of numpy so from the array from this one we're extracting first x second y for each for each corner so for each one of them we are looping each one of these and extracting x and y and now we're we're going to draw the circle cv2 dot circle we're going to draw it on the original image so emg the center po point of the circle are these values x and y so x and y the radius let's say let's make it three pixels the color let's make it green so vgr format remember zero blue 255 green and zero red thickness minus one which means that we're going to fill the circle with the color and as we have this we can run the code and here we have all the corners detected you can see we can make it a little bit bigger so it will be even clearer so let's actually make it red now 255 and you can see here that properly all corners have been detected here you can increase the quality number you shouldn't have any problem as these corners are really clear so it's most likely going to detect all of them probably even if we put the maximum number like one actually one is not possible so uh, 1.00 probably it must be float 0 0.99 okay it's not so good in this case let's say 0 0.8 and and here let's let's find only five corners let's uh, play with these numbers five corners it's a bit random so uh, usually you should get as many corners as possible there is not probably any criteria that gives you like the best corner first and the other la later seconds so let's put 150 and let's try to change the distance distance between each corner if we say for example 50 you can see that it doesn't detect this one because it's too close for example to this one so there must be like 50 pixels distance and this is for all for this corner det detection with the image now we are going to see the same function applied real time with the video so i'm going to delete this code and if you need this code of course you can download it and you can find it on my website on the link in the description so I delete this one and I type the new one. So import cv2, import numpy as in p. Now I'm going to load the webcam cv2 dot video capture zero while true underscore frame equals cap dot read. Let's show the frame cv 2im show frame frame. Let's create a key event key equals cv 2weight key one if key is equals to 27. 27 is the S key on the keyboard. In that case, we break the loop. We need to release the camera cap dot release and destroy the windows see it so that destroy all windows let's run it and see if it's all right it, it is so let's now apply the corner detection we need to convert the frame to grayscale so the frame it's equals to gray uh, cv2 dot cvt color 
frame cv2.color underscore vgr to gray and after this we can do the corner detection so corn, corners it's equals to cv2 dot good features to track on the gray image maximum number of corners 100 quality level let's say 0 0.1 and the minimum distance from each corner let's say 20 now to print the corners we need to say if corners is not known uh, we need to use this because if there is no corner and our program is try to draw a corner that doesn't exist then it's for sure going to raise an error so we're going to draw the corners only if they are detected so we convert corners uh, np dot int zero corner corners here doesn't actually make uh, it's as I showed before only to correct the format the array format to the extract the the points and now for each corner so for corner in corners and we're going to extract the values x and y it's equals to corner dot ravel and now we draw the corner cv2 dot circle we're going to draw the corners on the original frame the center point will be x and y the radius 3 pixel the color again red 0 0 and 255 and the thickness minus 1 to fill the circle this is good enough and here we see that our function detected already many corners we can do something for example we can take we can create track bar so we can change the quality of the corners that we want to detect in real time and even the number if we want or the distance so let's do that I'm going to create the track bar on this frame so I copy this one so we need first to create the window so then we can add the track bar so cv2 dot name it window it's frame and then we can create the track bar on the frame cv2 dot create track bar track bar name will be quality and the window would be frame value from 0 0.01 to 1 and then nothing now we need to create a function nothing that nothing x and pass so we're going to create this function this is, this is done for memory purposes so that if there is no value changing on the track bar it's going to pass or something like that <laughs> anyway let's move on okay we created the track bar now we need to get the value of the track bar in real time so we have quality it's equals to cv2 dot get track bar pause we need to define first uh, track bar name so quality and second the window name where the track bar is and it's frame we after we have this quality we can pass we can put the argument uh, the, the variable here and let's run the code 
Okay, we, we have an error. Actually, we cannot create, we cannot use float number on the track bar. So we cannot use 0, 0.0, we need to use 0, 1, 2. So we can do something like this from 0 to, actually not from 0, from 1 to 100 and then we're going to divide by 100. So quality equals to quality divided 100 and we should solve the problem okay so you see the more I increase this number the less corner it finds and this for example number 10 is divided 100 it's like if you put 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.15 and so on and this one will be 0 0.04 there is a problem that the quality number cannot be exact 0 because it will raise an error so let's see this and you see when you we get to 0 it is going to raise an error so we need to solve that so the quality it's quality divided by 100 by only if quality is greater greater than 0 else it will be it will equal to 0 0.01 is it clear so quality is quality divided by 100 but if only if it's greater than 0 if it's 0 it will be 0 0.01 so we will not get 0 let's see if it's right okay okay mm. okay it's hard to say which corners are on me uh, I want just mostly to use the function with this paper and nothing more so it will make more sense you can see that here the result is really good already all the corners are detected properly and I guess it's all for this video and thanks for watching